So the last time I talked about how to have a healthy progesterone level, and I thought that there were a lot of things in between about how a normal period should be that I had not hit on. So I'd like to start back there before we get to some of the problems and how we fix them. So if you remember correctly, the corpus luteum is a pretty important little endocrine gland. And the follicle stimulating hormone that comes from the pituitary gland in the brain talks to our ovaries every month. It says, hey, follicles, or eggs, if you will, we need to get ready because we're gonna have a race. And so all these follicles get ready and they have a race. And then one of them's the winner. Voila, pops out of the ovary. Ovulation happens. And when ovulation happens, then that is when that corpus luteum forms. In just a matter of hours, this miniature endocrine gland forms. And that endocrine gland, the corpus luteum, is what secretes progesterone. And so if we have that follicle be fertilized by a sperm and become pregnant, that corpus luteum pro, um, secretes that progesterone for a full three months, supporting that pregnancy until the placenta takes over doing that job. Then it dies off. Or if we do not become pregnant, then that corpus luteum then dies. The average age of a corpus luteum is 10 to 16 days if it does not become fertilized. And the corpus luteum and progesterone are like good friends. They come to visit, we really like their visit, we enjoy the two weeks that they're there, and then they leave. So if there's no ovulation, there's no progesterone. <laughs> 